Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna cover in-place upgrades for Windows Server 2022. Is it possible to do it? Yes, and we're gonna show you how in this video. But before we get started with that, if you're interested in purchasing or upgrading Windows Server or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. Now the first thing you might consider is whether or not you want to in-place upgrade Windows Server. Some admins will prefer building a new server over the in-place upgrade method, but we'll leave that up to you guys. Now, if you're considering upgrading from 2016 to 2019 or to 2022, and you wanna do an in-place upgrade, we're gonna show you just how to do that. All right, so the first step is to collect diagnostic information in the event that your upgrade is unsuccessful. To do this, we're gonna run PowerShell. In PowerShell, we're gonna run the following command. All right, we're gonna run this first command. We're gonna run this command next. Okay. And we'll run this final command. And then we're just gonna copy where we saved that information to our directory of choice, such as a, <clears throat> such as a USB drive or similar, so you can set this information aside. So at this point, we're gonna need an ISO image file to mount. If you don't have one already, again, check those links in the description if you're interested in purchasing. We'll also need a valid activation key. And once we have that downloaded, we're gonna run the setup.exe. Choose your preferred edition. Here we'll go with the standard evaluation desktop experience, set the license agreement. And then the option we need to pick here is keep files, settings, and apps. You'll have some additional choices within there as well, but this is where the in-place upgrade takes place. I don't currently have the option because I'm on a blank server with no files, but again, we'll check this and we'll hit next. And then it's gonna ask you again, do you wanna continue using the selection? You can press yes. All right, and then once we've done that, we can actually go ahead and press install. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. At this point, you should have successfully completed your in-place upgrade. If you have any questions about any parts of this process, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in RDS licenses or purchasing Windows Server or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links in the description box below. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.